Well, the Eagles just wrapped up their final practice before heading on a plane to get to New England to take on the Patriots this Sunday. They also made a couple of final roster moves to shore up that practice squad. DeAndre Swift could be lined up more at wide receiver than running back, and Sidney Brown, he's going to play a lot of special teams, and Sean Desai is expecting to bring the rain, both literally and physically, on Sunday against the Patriots. I'm Thomas Mott. This is The Thomas Mott Show. <laughs>What's up, guys? Thomas Mott here. Welcome to the Thomas Mott Show on a Friday. It's Friday, so here's some fresh practice footage from the Eagles' final indoor walkthrough as they go ahead and get ready to get on a plane tomorrow, go to Foxborough, and get ready to play the Patriots on Sunday. Now, one very interesting bit of news from Patriots practice today, running back Ramadre Stevenson, their number one back, was missing. Now, he didn't appear on any injury report the past couple of days, and so maybe it's an excused absence, but who really knows? Zeke Elliott would be your number one running back if Stevenson is unable to go on Sunday. Now, the Eagles did make some changes to their practice squad. Minor, but still important. Adam Kaplan says they re-signed outside linebacker Kyron Johnson and quarterback Taiwan Mullen to their practice squad while releasing wide receiver Joseph Ngata and Brady Russell in order to make room for them. Not that we're going to see them actually play in Sunday's game, but still, if you're wondering what the official practice squad was going to look like, it's now been finalized. Now quickly, shout out to all you guys who used my DraftKings link yesterday and bet on the Lions plus four and a half. I told you guys that was going to hit absolutely fantastic. And also, shout out to Kadarius Tony, who also deleted his Twitter account today because he was one of the main reasons why the Chiefs looked absolutely terrible last night. I love seeing the Chiefs lose on banner night when they unveiled that banner that we should have won. If you want another guaranteed DraftKings hit? Use my link down below. How about betting the over for DeAndre Swift receiving yards? They're at 10.5 right now for Sunday's game. 10.5, smash that over, link down below. Now, speaking of DeAndre Swift, Nick Sirianni was asked about him in his press conference today and gave kind of a hint that not only will he be running the football heavily against the New England Patriots, but also lining up at wide receiver. There's been practice footage of him doing that, and now Sirianni He's backing it up by saying, quote, I think what we've really seen is you're going to be able to move him around multiple spots because of his ability, not only with his athletic ability, his quickness in and out of breaks, and his speed, but also the way he catches the football. It looks like a wide receiver catching the football out there, end quote. We've heard this rumor. We've seen some stuff during training camp of DeAndre Swift lining up at wide receiver, but most recently, a couple of practices ago, we had footage of him working out with the receivers. It was all WRs except for one little sneaky running back in there, and that was DeAndre Swift. Now, of course, DeAndre Swift is very, very excited to go ahead and play in his opening game as a Philadelphia Eagle after kind of getting forgotten about with the Detroit Lions last year. Here's what he said about his debut. A lot of emotion. I know it's going to be a lot of emotion. Um, something I'm excited for. I'm blessed to be a part of. I always say it since I've been in the league. Whatever it's going to be, whatever opportunities I'm given, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability, no matter what. Do you guys think DeAndre Swift's going to have a massive day on Sunday, a mediocre day on Sunday? Will he go over 10 and a half receiving yards? I think that's a guarantee. Give me your score prediction, or I should say stat line prediction for DeAndre Swift against the Patriots. Now, another player we're very curious about how much they're actually going to go ahead and play is the safety Sidney Brown. And the problem is you're not going to see him a lot because he was not listed as a starter on the Eagles' unofficial, I guess, kind of technically official final depth chart. It was of course, Reed Blankenship, alongside either Justin Evans or Terrell Edmonds, although I expect Edmonds to kind of be the number one guy, especially in a lot of rundowns, and then maybe switch to Evans and passing downs. That remains to be seen. But Nick Sirianni said he was excited, excited about the special teams unit, different players in new roles. He did mention Sidney Brown and Josh Job as big special team pieces. And while some people on Twitter are kind of confused why Sidney Brown would always play special teams, it is exactly what he should do, right? You send a third-round draft pick on this guy. He's not going to start. He's not going to get a lot of playing time as an actual safety yet. Emphasis on yet, maybe later on in the season. But if you want to get him on the football field, put him at the gunner spot, let him run down the field and showcase not only his speed, but his tackling ability and help out a special teams unit that was one of the weaknesses and continues to be one of the biggest weaknesses on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, speaking of running around that football field up at Gillette Stadium, it's going to be hard to throw and running might be the thing you actually need to do in terms of winning this football game. Look at the weather here. Let's put on my weatherman forecast. This is weather.com and this is a couple days away. Scattered thunderstorms in the morning become more widespread in the afternoon. High of 82. Winds light and variable. Chance of rain is 70%. And of course, this is a 425 kickoff on the East Coast, and it goes into scattered thunderstorms in the evening. Cloudy skies overnight. Low 68. Chance of rain 50%. And so the odds of there being rain and a little bit muggy and maybe even some serious rain, more heavy rain, I should say, at Gillette Stadium is very, very strong. If you're going to the game, bring your poncho. If you're watching the game, hope that the Eagles can run the football and establish that run 
run early because throwing might be a little bit tougher. Now, I guess if they do want to throw the football, not only do they have the receivers to go ahead and do that, but looks like the Patriots are going to be down another player, and this time it's cornerback Jack Jones. He will miss some time, according to Jeff Howell, with a hamstring injury they suffered in practice on Thursday, according to a source via The Athletic. And so he is not going to be on the football field unless some sort of miracle happens, Mr. Miyagi style, with his hamstring. And so Philadelphia is going to have backup cornerbacks to go against, backup right tackles to go against as well, and potentially a Juju Smith-Schuster with a knee ready to explode on Sunday. And while, again, it's going to be a little bit rainy and Jalen Hurts might not throw for 500 yards like he could, potentially against a backup cornerback and, you know, a tough, a, a interesting secondary, I should say, with the New England Patriots, it is still very, very noticeable and very, very notable that the Patriots are continuing to be banged up while Philadelphia remains very, very healthy. Now, Brandon Graham was at the podium just yesterday and was asked about kind of the philosophy of the defense, what he thinks about Sean Desai, and he gave away a little bit of a hint that they're going to blitz a lot more than they did under Jonathan Gannon. Listen to this, quote, I think so. I think so. We have to get through the first uh, games first so you can see. I know already how Philadelphia, what they've been groomed to see over the years. And that was, of course, his answer to being asked about being a blitz-oriented defensive approach. And that's kind of what you want Philadelphia to have, at least based on what you saw from Gannon last year while they were good in coverage and decent, at, obviously, at generating a pass rush. And when I say decent, that's a joke. They were fantastic at generating a pass rush. There were still moments where they didn't blitz enough. And a lot of Eagle fans, including myself, have been asking for, hey, a couple more blitzes here, a couple more blitzes there. Maybe on third down and four, you send some players instead of dropping you know, eight in coverage and playing 10 yards off the cornerbacks, right? Just a thought. It's just a kind of a wild thought. And so I love the idea of blitzing more. And it looks like BG loves the idea of blitzing more. And it looks like Sean Desai is going to be blitzing more for the Philadelphia Eagles on Sunday. Either way, we're less than two days away. You guys got to get through the end of the work day today on Friday. Then you just have a fun, relaxing college football field Saturday. And then Sunday afternoon, not only can you watch the game on YouTube TV, like all of us will be doing, but you can join myself and Josh Davis for our live stream during the game, where you can obviously just hang out with a bunch of other Eagle fans. A lot of times, if you're not in the Philadelphia area, you're not at a Philadelphia Eagle sports bar, you're watching it alone in your house, and you have no one else to go ahead and talk about this great play by Jalen Hurts or this bad call by the New England Patriots. We're the place to go ahead and do that. Make sure you guys subscribe to both of our channels. We're going to be live on both channels starting uh, a little bit before kickoff on Sunday, and then going for the entire game and post-game as well, having reaction with you guys and also giving away our DeAndre Swift mini helmet. It's going to be a bunch of fun. One of my first times ever doing a stream of an Eagles game. Make sure you guys go ahead and hang out and enjoy that. It's going to be a bunch of fun. All right, plenty more stuff happening over the next couple of days and weeks. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'm Thomas Mott. This has been The Thomas Mott Show.